what is the process of revelation by Allah to mankind? What is the process of revelation? How Allah reveal his message to mankind for guidance? First of all, we must know this. As you people have come in this hall or this is this auditorium to listen to a talk on what Quran says about the language. And you have been provided with the Arabic text, a booklet, and with the translation, my translation. It can be wrong. It can be wrong, of course. So how would you know it is coming from God? How would you know it is the truth, what you are hearing? So now what will happen? You will note in the ayahs that I have written down are not in continuous uh, chronological order as they are in the Quran. They are not in that same chronological order as mentioned in the Quran. Someone, some ayat is coming from this ayah, from this place, and some ayat is coming from that surah, some ayat is coming from that ayah, surah, and this ayat is coming from that surah. You understand? The booklet you have is not in a chronological order as the Quran is. Like Surah Fatih is first, and Surah Bakra is second, and Ali Imran is three, and Surah four Nisa and onwards. It is not like that. The book you have hold in your hand. They are different from 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 this place and from this place. Different surahs and ayahs. So I am explaining you. You have come to hear a, a discussion about what the Quran says about the language. So I personally have collected the data or the ayat relevant to lesan the language. That I've done it. But the placing of an ayah in this booklet is not done by me. This you must listen to me very carefully. This placing of an ayah is held by Allah in doing so. Otherwise, I challenge the whole mankind to do so. If he thinks I can do it, you can also do it. Anybody can from take out the relevant ayat from a concordance of Arabic text, the relevant ayat of Lisan, Al Sinatahum. List all the eyes and you take up and speak. You will never be able to do it until Allah helps you. Believe me. So you must understand the difference. How would you understand the difference that what I am saying, I, I am doing it, that I have collected the data of the relevant eye of one particular topic today is Lisan. But the placing of an ayah is not done by me. And I'm telling you, if you think so, then you, I'm asking you, you, you also have got a concordance of the world. The man, mankind is full of, available of computer is there. There are, you can write down Lisan, you all the data and ayahs will come in, in two minutes. And then you read those ayahs and try to explain to mankind. If you can do so, Allah helps you, you will do it. If Allah doesn't help you, you cannot do it. That's the principle. That is the process of revelation how Allah reveals a topic or a sense of a one particular subject. Where it is written, it is written in Surah Al-Nahr 16 and 101 and 102 ayah. When we change the place of an ayah with an ayah, Allah knows more with what is to be revealed. They say, surely you are a forger, fabricator, inventor, but the majority of them do not know. You understand? The placing of ayah in this booklet, when Allah says that when He changed the place of an ayah, of an ayah, by an ayah, in the Quran, so Allah knows what is to be revealed. So they say, you have done it. You have invented. They say you have done it. But the majority of people do not believe. You understand? So I am telling you that I just now read ayats. Didn't I, I read ayats? Did you see that the booklet in the booklet you have seen these ayats? They are not in continuation. They, the places are changed. Every ayah that I read is not in a sequence. It is changed. It is not in the same chronological order as is in the Quran. So Allah says, Vaida. He says, Vaida badalna ayatam makana ayah 
Wallahu alamu bima yunazil. When we change the place of an ayah with an ayah, Allah knows more what is to be revealed. Allah knows more what is to be revealed. Surely they say you are a forger, you have done it. You have in invented. But the majority of the people do not understand. Why? Because people do not know how Allah reveals the ayahs. How the subject is being revealed. How? How? In this I explains. So you must know the places of an ayah when changes as you are seeing it today or you have been seeing it in my lectures. It is always by the change of a place of an ayah with an ayah. Allah knows what is to be revealed. Today is the language. So if you look, look at the because change, so you will get the spirit or the essence. This is the process of revelation. And further it says in the surah, in the surah 102 ayah, Say, Rul Qudus, the Holy Spirit is revealed with the truth from your Lord to strengthen those who believe and a guidance and a good news for the Muslims. Say the Ruhul Qudus, the Holy Spirit is revealed with the truth from your Lord to strengthen those who believe and a guidance and a good news for the Muslim, the submitters. Now whenever Allah has changed the place of an ayah with an ayah, the Ruhul Qudus, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit comes. Say the Holy Spirit is revealed. What is the Holy Spirit or the Spirit? Is revealed from your Lord to strengthen those who believe and a guidance and a good news for the Muslims, the submitters. What is the Spirit? I have to explain to you the Spirit now. You see, ladies and gentlemen, what is the Spirit? Whatever I speak, anything I speak or in any languages, when people, two people communicate to each other, they use certain words and by these words you understand what this gentleman is saying you understand it when you say something then you want to pass out the message so these words are used and the message is transferred once the message is transferred actually you understand the spirit that this gentleman is trying to say this so you understand the spirit of that person similarly when Allah reveals from his word these words that you are reading he sends the Holy Spirit. It is not an ordinary spirit because it is coming from Allah. It is Ruhul Qudus. It is the Holy Spirit. From the words of Allah, you understand the Holy Spirit. The, the uh, Holy Spirit, the Muqaddas. And it strengthens those who believe and a guidance for the good news for the Muslims, the submitters. When the Holy Spirit comes, when the ayahs that I gave you this booklet is not in a chronological order as in the Quran, the places is changed. The topic is lisan. So now you, you know what the happening is. By the change of the place of an ayah, Allah reveals about lisan language. How people are twisting, didn't you understand? How they are twisting? As I explained in Bakra 2, 2 and in Bakra 2.53, did you understand? So you are listening to the spirit of the words of Allah's ayahs. When the places of an ayah change, as I, you are hearing by this booklet, page by page, actually the essence is coming to you. And the essence is the Holy Spirit of Allah. This Holy Spirit of Allah is coming to you, is in truth from your Lord, and strengthen those who believe, and a guidance, and a good news for the Muslims. So every time a Muslim, a submitter in the nearness of Allah is, whenever he is going to listen to a discourse like this, or whenever you want to know about a topic from the Quran, you have to collect the ayats of one particular topic from the concordance available easily, and then you ponder. And once you ponder on those ayats of same one particular topic, if Allah reveals, when Allah reveals the change of the place of the change of ayahs will be changed. It will not be in the chronological order of the Quran as of today. It will change. As you can see your, in your hands, the booklet, a change of a chronological order, ayahs are presented to you. This is the process by virtue Allah reveals the ayahs 
and the spirit, the Holy Spirit comes to you. Now you understand? The Holy Spirit, how it comes? Okay. So now we'll see this continues going on. Surah Shura 26, 192 to 195. Wa innahu Amin. Ala Kalbika Litakuna Mel Munzirin Bilisanin Arabi Mubin. Surely it is a revelation from the Lord of the Worlds. Reveal with it the trustworthy arrow the spirit over your heart so that you become from the warners with the clear Arabic language. So by, by the change of place of an eye, what happened? So let's say surely it is a revelation from the Lord of the Worlds. So what you are hearing is the Holy Spirit coming to you. It's coming from the Lord of the Worlds. Reveal with it. Nazala bihirul amin. Again, Ruh comes. And revealed with it is the trustworthy Ruh Spirit. Are you hearing? So what you are hearing is the trustworthy Spirit. That means... When the essence has come to you, the spirit means the essence of these Allah's eyes words is a trustworthy spirit. You can trust on it. It is not me talking. It is coming from Allah. By the eyes of Allah, you can come to a conclusion and it is a trustworthy spirit. It is the Holy Spirit from Allah of these words. You can trust on it. This is how your Iman and belief grows. Otherwise, you don't listen, don't look at me. The problem is you people have been listening to so much of lies, they look at a man. Look at the highest essence books is given into you, into your hands. And the revelation, the chronological order is there. It's changed by Allah. I am just reciting these ayahs, repeating in the same chronological order, in the order that is given to me. So it says, وَإِنَّهُ لَتَنزِيرُ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Surely it is a revelation from the Lord of the worlds. Reveal with it is the trust worthy Aru, the Spirit. Over your heart, so that you become from the warners. So you warn people. بِلِسَانٍ عَرَبٍ مُبِينَ With the Arabic language. And I am continuously reading the Arabic language. So you people can verify it is coming from Allah or not. But... There are always people who, I'm telling you, who listen to lies, they don't want to accept. And then what happens? Surah 16, Allah 16, 103 ayah. وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُوا أَنَّهُمْ يَقُولُونَ إِنَّمَا يُعَلِّمُ بَشَرُ لِسَانُ الَّذِي يُلْحِدُونَ إِلْهِ أَعْجِمِهُ وَهَذَا لِسَانٌ عَرَبِيُّ مُبِينٌ And without doubt, we know that they say, surely he's a human who teaches it. Towards him they profane dishonor the non-Arabic language that is the translation clarification of the Quranic Arabic spirit and this is a clear Arabic language now Allah says without doubt we know Allah says we know they say surely it is a human who teaches it towards him they profane dishonor the non-Arabic language and this is a clear Arabic language what do you understand you people are sitting and listening to a discourse and I'm reading ayahs in a uh, the places of the ayahs are changed by Allah now when you listen to this ayahs so there are people in their minds or people in the audience or wherever this lecture has been propagated they are listening you know what they are thinking that this Jai guy me me I've done it so I have my transition they, are, they look at the, they say without doubt we know Allah says we know they say Surely this is a human, this man, he has done it. I am reading ayahs, believe me, it's not me, it's ayahs. وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّهُمْ يَقُولُونَ إِنَّمَا يُعَلِّمُ بَشَرُ Without doubt we know that they say, surely it is a human who teaches, he is teaching it. We are listening to you, this man, we are listening to you, you are saying it. Believe me, people are saying it is Muhammad Sheikh said it. It's not the ayat. Ask them. It's not the ayat. Then tell what is the difference between the ayat and Muhammad Sheikh. They say you are doing it. They say this is the man who teaches. They profane, dishonor the non-Arabic language because you are reading in a translation. How you, how the concept has come into your language? 
you are li li listening to an English language and I am translating Arabic text, the spirit of the Quranic Arabic in a translated form. You are listening in translation. So you will dishonor the Arabic, not the Quranic Arabic, you will dishonor the translation. Say, this is you man, this is your concept. This is what you think. It's not from your Allah. It is not from Allah, it is your ideology, your philosophy. So this is what Allah says. And without doubt, we know that they say, surely is a human who teaches, this is a man, this man, he teaches it. Towards him, they profane dishonor the non-Arabic language because you are listening to a, a non-Arabic language, English language now. You are listening in English language. So you dishonor, because this is Muhammad Sheikh saying it. So Allah says, the, this is Bahad al this non-Arabic language is Arabic Mubin, is declared Arabic language. Did you listen? You understand this point is very important. Listen to me very carefully. Now, if you suppose any person of you understands any ayat, you go from here. Believe me, that's my challenge. You go and speak to any al alim or scholar of Quran or any person and you tell him, this is what ayat says. You don't know Arabic. You don't know Arabic language. And once you quote an ayah in Arabic, and you trans show him the translation, what you will say? Allah says, or you say the translation says? This is the spirit that has transferred in you by God Almighty. This is what is written here. It is the human that teaches him. And Allah said that translation is the Arabic language. Because you will not say it's a translation, it's you will say it's Allah says in the ayahs. It's Allah says in the ayahs. And you're reading all the time English Urdu. You are reading English Urdu, believe me. And you are saying, Allah says this, Allah says that. You understand what it says? So they know this is a man teaches Muhammad Sheikh. He taught you. Nonsense. To Allah's ayahs, to Allah's ayah spirit. Look again, I read. وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّهُمْ يَقُولُونَ إِنَّمَا يُعَلِّمُهُ بَشَرْ لِسَانُ الَّذِي يُلْحِدُونَ إِلَيْهِ عَجْمِهُ وَهَذَا لِسَانُ عَرَبِيُّ مُبِينٌ And without doubt, we know that they say, Surely he is a human who teaches, who teaches the spirit, the essence you have received, it is human. Towards him they profane, dishonor the non-Arabic language. That is the English, I am speaking English language. You are dishonoring, people are dishonoring the non-Arabic language. And Allah said, وَحَادَ لِسَانَ Rabin, Because the spirit is transferred, Allah said, this is Arabic Mubin. So whenever the transference of the spirit is transferred in any language of the world and when you quote him the ayat in Arabic text and you refer to any translation with the spirit believe me he cannot contradict except you say this is that guy told you this this is this Muhammad Sheikh told you this except for that he cannot contradict it's coming from Allah and that is how the spirit is transferred to a non-Arabic speaking people in the language of the people in all times in all times, this is the process of Allah, that Allah is teaching Allah mankind, when He changed the places of Anaya of Anaya, the transfer, the rule Qudus comes, the Holy Spirit comes, or rule Amin comes, the Spirit of Truth of Allah comes, and the trans and since it comes to us, it becomes a guidance and a bushra and a good news for the Muslim submitters. But there are people, they say it is the man said it, he said it, it is his concept. Uh, in Surah Bakra, Ayat 106, okay. the cancellation of Ayat is mentioned. What are those Ayahs? Can you clarify? In Surah Al Bakra 2 and Ayah 106, uh, I will read this Ayah, and there are different opinions of this one particular. Again, I was just telling this lady that how will you understand that it has no contradiction? Look, I, this, this is the proof now. In Surah Al Nisa, Sorry, Surah Al Baqarah 2, 106 ayah. You write down the reference. I will read the ayah. Ma nansak min ayatin aw nunsiya nati bi khairimina aw mithliya alam ta'alam anna allaha ala kulli kulli shayin qadeel. Before I explain this ayah, you must understand what has happened. This ayah, people say, there are people in the scholars of the world, they are saying, there are many ayahs that are being cancelled by Allah. That's what you're asking, yeah, that you're asking. That, that ayahs are being cancelled. Right. 
So some of the ayas are cancelled and some <laughs> he brought the better than these ayas. So they refer to the privilege, privilege there was a law and that law was cancelled, now Allah brought a new law. That was cancelled, now again I brought something new. So this is how people are interpreting this ayas. So, and there are scholars who, like for example, Abdul Yusuf Ali, and maybe uh, like in, in Urdu there is uh, Abu Mansur. There are few scholars, very few scholars, they have said, they have wrote down that Allah does not cancel any ayat. That is two, two, three persons. But the majority are saying that they, Allah cancels. And now if you are reading a translation, this is exactly opposite. Some people are saying Allah cancels and some people are, they are saying Allah does not cancel. But the majority are saying Allah cancels. Minority are saying Allah does not cancel ayahs. That's, that's the two opposite, you know, uh, translation. Now, the question is, by the grammar, the, both are uh, people learned than me, the grammarians. <laughs> they, they, are trans, they are translating and, by the way, Abdullah Yusuf, Yusuf is, is, is being now revised in Medina University, from the Medina, you know, Medina, what do you say, uh, university there. And they are, they are, you know, revising scholars are sitting down and, you know, translating the Arabic text. And they have also again translated that we do not cancel. But the Arabic text says that we cancel. First of all, I must put in this that we cancel because it, by, the, by the grammar. Now what he cancels, I will explain that. Does he cancel the ayahs or does he cancel something else? Because it doesn't make, Allah is a perfect personality, his book is perfect. He does not do mistakes that if you do a certain mistake, you cancel and then you bring another, another thing. <laughs> That's not Allah's work. Man does it. Like, like, like some, some rules were made before some government and now new rules are made. Another time, new rules are made. In the all time, every time, every nationality of the world, people are amending their rules and systems to improve upon. Allah does not do that such things. So what the ayah says, I will read down and believe me, this is my translation. So you just... Uh, <laughs> have to take up the book from here sometime or by translation and print it. I will, I will read. We cancel from the ayat whatever, whatever we will see. We make or we make it forgotten. I'm just reading then I explain or we make it forgotten. Or we, we come or bring with a better from it ayat or similar from it. Do you know that surely Allah is power capable of all things? So in the Arabic, I'm just trying to explain that the, trans, the transition where it goes wrong. Ma nansakh min ayatin. Ma means whatever. Nansakh means we cancel. Min ayatin from the ayat. This is this little portion I'm going to explain to you, then you'll understand everything. Ma means whatever. Nansakh means we cancel from the ayats. So it is, does, does it sound to you that it says we cancel the ayat? Excuse me, does it say, sound to you that we cancel the ayat or from the ayat we cancel? From the ayat we cancel. So what he cancels from the ayat, you go to Surah, write down another reference, Surah Hajj 22 and Ayah 52. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ مِنْ رَسُولٍ وَلَا نَبِيٍ and we have not sent from before you a messenger nor a prophet except when he wishes or desires shaitan encounters or put in his wish Shaitan encounters or put in his wish. So Allah cancels. Fayansakullah. For Allah, for He, Allah cancels. Ma yulqi shaitan. What the shaitan puts in it, in the Allah's ayats. So Allah cancels shaitan, what encounters. So Allah cancels what shaitan encounters or puts in it. Then Allah governs his ayats. Allah is knowing why. Allah cancels what shaitan puts in. Okay? Now I'm coming back to the same ayah. 
min ayatin. So I said, we cancel, here it says, we cancel whatever from the ayat. Whatever we cancel is from the ayas. So from the ayas, what he cancels? Whatever, whatever he cancels is from the ayas. So I'm as, asking simple question, what Allah cancels from the ayas, whatever? What Maya Yulqi Shaitan, whatever Shaitan puts in, in the ayas, Allah cancels that. Allah does not cancel the ayat. Whatever the Shaitan puts in or encounters in the ayat, Allah cancels that. And he governs, Thumma yukumullah ayati. Then he makes sure that the ayat is established, governed. So, so Allah says, here in this ayat, can be understood by if you go to Surah 22, what is he cancelling? All the time, the ayat, you read any ayat, believe me, all the time when you read ayat, there is a narration put in your mind. All the time. All the time when you are reading any ayat, people have put something in your mind. This ayat means this, this ayat means this. So you read ayat, the moment you read ayat, that comes in your mind. So when the essence of ayat comes, it cancels that. It cancels what is ever put in your mind. You understand what I am saying? So whatever is put by man or shaitan puts in your mind, by reading it, it cancels that. So Allah says, we cancel from the ayat whatever the shaitan throws in. Okay? And further he says, and we make it forgotten. Then what the concept the shaitan has put in, Allah is cancelling, you may you forget that. And then he says, Nati bi khairim minha. Then he better he brings better ayas to cancel again. Or he au misya, yeah, similar ayas. So you read in the ayas in the Quran that a narration is given. One narration about Adam al Islam. And after in Surah Bakra, if you read about Adam al Islam or Musa al Islam, and then when the event is repeated again, either it is a better ayat comes or similar ayat comes to cancel the Al-Qa Shaitan. Whatever the Shaitan is throwing all the time, he brings another ayat, similar ayat, so it, it catches you again. Then he brings another ayat, another further ayat, you go. So Musa Islam, suppose I'm giving an event of Musa, peace be upon him, or Adam, peace be upon him. There are many narrations. So he brings an ayat, similar ayat, or something better than, so that the wrong concept or the Shaitan word has put, is been cancelled again and again, and has been forgotten. So Allah cancel is from the ayahs, whatever the Shaitan throws in. Allah does not cancel his ayahs. There is not a single ayat in the Quran that Allah has cancelled. Remember this. Allah is cancelling whatever the shaitan is throwing in, in all times. So, so what Allah cancelled is the Al-Qai shaitan. All the time people are throwing, you know, something. So Allah is cancelling that. Thank you very much. Okay.